Tornadoes, flash flooding, rain, it's been the story of our summer. Uh, WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski is here. And Sarah, uh, rain we're used to, tornadoes not so much. Why are we seeing so many? It's the way that it's all set up this year. This oh. summer just has been, we've been stuck in this pattern and we've had a lot of really warm, humid days. Yep. And that helps contribute to not just the heavy rain, but also when a cold front comes through, the instability in the air. So taking a look at some of the conditions that are favorable for tornadoes, we've had them all. We've been able to check these boxes. A lot of energy in the atmosphere. We've also had um, a lot of days where we've had winds changing with height, meaning different winds at the surface compared to a loft. That really can kickstart a tornado. We've had so many more times the Storm Prediction Center has actually put us in a tornado risk because of that. But also, it's the jet stream, and it's been pretty strong, and that helps produce some of those really strong winds that can get all the way down to the surface when you have that wind changing with height. We've actually had four confirmed tornadoes with ratings from the National Hurricane Center earlier before today, I should say. One in North Brookfield, one in Foxborough, one in Mattapoisa, and one in Barnstable. Now, today, we're still trying to figure out exactly how many tornadoes did spawn or was it one that you know went into m many communities but so far we're standing at four but we've had many times where we have had more than that in fact if we get to six if there was more than two today that would actually put us in the top five for most tornadoes per year on record since 1950 so we'll be watching it closely of course if i get new information i'll bring it to you live chris